One family is upset after their child was hurt at a daycare in Farmville, resulting in permanent injury, and it's drawing the attention of thousands on social media. On your side, Sarah Gray Barr sat down with the family. She joins us in the newsroom now. Sarah Gray, what did you learn? Ken, February 20th was just another normal day for Tonisha Anthony. She dropped her child Sion off at Rising Stars of Farmville. Around 11 that day, Tonisha got a notification from the daycare. Sion hurt his finger. When Tonisha got to the daycare, she tells me she couldn't believe what she saw. They unwrapped his hand and the only thing I could say was, oh my God, like it was so bad. Yeah, I. I couldn't even stomach it. It was so bad. Tonisha rushed C on to the emergency room. Dad Sean Sutton met the two at the ER. Surgeons tried to reattach the finger, but weren't able to. Thank you. You got to watch that. You got to let them, like, it's nothing we can do at that point, but just stand there helpless, like, and go through that. None of your side reached out to Rising Stars of Farmville in a statement they wrote in part. As a family-oriented child care center committed to providing quality services, Rising Stars of Farmville regrets that a toddler in its carriage suffered injury to a finger last week and are hopeful the child experiences a speedy recovery. We're cooperating with the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, which is investigating the matter. Now a week later, Sion's parents say he's still reliving that day whenever he goes for a follow-up doctor's visit. I have the video to start back over when they have to unwrap it. He go through the whole trauma riding state again. We don't know what else this is going to affect. Yes, his hand, you know, part of his finger is missing, but he has to grow up with it. A light in the dark, the immense support from the community, both online and in person. We call them virtual auntie, auntie uncle. uncle. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Who yeah. put this on? Someone yeah. put a karaoke machine yeah. on the I'm yeah. like, who did this? That's like, because he's literally singing his little heart. Wearing shirts that say, okay. my accident oh, no. could have been prevented. Sion's parents say they hope the daycare is held accountable. Don't let them be another Sion. Don't let the incident happen to Sion happen to your child. So that's the only thing that we're doing there is awareness. We also reached out to NCDHHS. They told us the Division of Child Development and Early Education is aware of the concerns and is considering next steps. We'll have that statement and the full statement from Rising Stars of Farmville linked on our website at WNCT.com. We'll also include a link to the GoFundMe for Sion's recovery. In the newsroom, Sarah Gray Barr, 9 on your side. Sarah Gray, thank you.